Hi there, in this video I will help you to become more familiar with the John McAfee One Click Miner and Safex Cache Mining Pool. First of all, you will need to download the John McAfee Safex Cache Miner from GitHub. I will leave a link to this page in the video description. Simply download the one relevant to your operating system, the one that is .dmg is for macOS, the one that says .exe is for Windows, and the one that says .deb is for Ubuntu version 18. For the sake of simplicity, this video will be using the Windows version. Once downloaded and installed, you will need to run the application from your desktop. Next, to mine Safex Cache, you will need a Safex Cache address. There are several ways to do that within this app, but for the first stage, I will show you how to create it within it directly. The button here where it says create new wallet file, simply click it, enter a password, make sure this is a memorable password because you will require this again if you ever want to load up your wallet files again. Click create new wallet, it will then prompt you to save a copy of the wallet file on your desktop or wherever you need. Uh, it might be wise to save this onto a USB stick and keep it in a safe place. I'm going to call this example wallet. Click save. You'll see that the relevant wallet files have now been saved on my desktop here. Keep these safe because these will be required if you ever need to recover your Safex cache address. It will also automatically put your Safex cache address into the miner itself. Then if you want to start mining, you simply press the start button here. You then give it a few seconds and it will start mining on the John McAfee uh, mining pool. If you want to check on the status of your mining, simply copy the address and then go to McAfee dot safex dot io worker statistics paste your address into here press look up and it will give you your relevant information of course I've only just started mining so there isn't much information here but to explain a few a uh, few things here your current payout estimate that is based on how much effort you've put into the mining pool uh, let's say, for example, it is one mega hash. The, the entire pool's hash rate is one mega hash, and you put in 100 kilo hash worth of mining power. That will mean that you're putting in 10%, well, you're contributing 10% towards that pool. Uh, and your payout estimates will be based on the amount of effort that you've put into the pool and for each block. The variant contribution also gives you a percentage base of whatever that is, uh, whatever your efforts are in comparison to the entire pool. Your pending balance, this is confirmed SafeX cache that has been mined from a, from a block and allocated to you. The nature of the SafeX cache, it requires 60 blocks depth to mature, uh, to mature which will then allow the pool to uh, distribute that to you. Uh, so whilst your blocks are still maturing, you will appear, it will appear in pending balance. Once you've hit that maturity rate, it will then pay you out. There is a minimum payout. If you look onto the dash dashboard, you'll see that your minimum payout is to SafeX Cash. Once they've been paid out, it will appear in the total paid section here. If you want to adjust your minimum payout, you can go into settings. Enter the IP address of the uh, miner that you're running from and the actual SafeX cache address, and then you can also set your minimum payout, for example, 100 SafeX cache. The next step is if you already have the relevant private keys for your SafeX cache wallet, you can also import it into the miner itself. If 
you've used the version 7 of the Safex wallet and gone through the migration process, you will have no doubt been prompted to save this file here, which includes your public address, your public spend, and your private spend keys. So I'm just going to take a few seconds to just tidy this up so it makes so it's a little it's formatted in a little easier to see. I also recommend that you do this as well for the sake of simplicity. <clears throat> so the next thing that you can do is to import an existing SafeX cache address. You will require your spend key, secret key, and your view secret key as well, and also the full address. If you've also used the offline SafeX cache generator, the SafeX cache address generator, uh, you will have also been prompted to save your private view and spend keys. To import this key, simply click Create New Wallet from Keys. In the first box here, it asks you to paste your SafeX cache address in. The next is you need to paste your spend key, private key. The next is your view key, private key. Paste that in. Give yourself a password. And then click create wallet from keys. Again, it will prompt you to save <coughs> the relevant files. So I'm just going to call this example recovery. Save. And there we have it. Your The keys for your wallet has been saved. Uh, again, I recommend that you back these up. The next thing you want to do is to be able to check your balance. Now, the One Click Miner app has the ability to check your balance, and you do that by pressing the Check Balance button. It may take a few seconds for the Miner application to download the latest blocks, uh, well, to review the latest blocks and find any pending or available balances on your account. Because this is an imported key, you will see that I already have some SafeX tokens in my wallet and some SafeX cash. When you receive SafeX cash from the pool, it will take roughly 10 blocks to mature and to unlock. When that happens, it will appear under the pending SafeX cash section here. And once they've unlocked, it will then move to the available SafeX cash section here. At any time, if you want to refresh, you can press the refresh button here. Also make sure that you are connected to the remote node and that your blockchain height is the same as the current blockchain height. And you can do that by refreshing. Another way to import your SafeX cache address is if you already have the, the relevant key files here. So I'm going to re-import my example recovery key into the miner. And to do that, you click on Open Wallet File, Browse Files, and then select the relevant file. I'm going to put the password in that I've set. Oh, wrong password. So that's the import that shows you the importance of saving the right remembering the right password. And there we go. There's the SafeX cache address. And if I press that, I could do a rescan. And you can see that my balance here is showing. If you're more of an advanced miner and you want to mine with your GPUs, you can do so, and you can find the relevant settings on the McAfee mining pool through the Getting Started page. Just some notes of interest. Uh, this is the Kryptonite version 8 algorithm. Um, and the GPU ports are typically ports 3333 or 5555, depending on how uh, powerful your graphics cards are. The relevant configuration settings can be found here. Um, your pool address. Uh, your wallet address is the address that's been created here. Your rig ID is your worker name. This pool doesn't actually use the rig ID, so you can ignore that. Your pool password 
uh, you can set that to whatever you want and the pull password will sh appear as your worker name in your worker statistics page. So if you have multiple miners you can give them individual unique names uh, based on whatever they are. Most people use XMR stack for their mining uh, but there are other options available including XMRig and SRB miner. To learn more about SafeX Cache, if this is the first time you've come across it, um, I will leave a link in the description to an article on the SafeX News website. Uh, SafeX News is a website that I run personally that uh, gives you the latest information on the developments of SafeX and uh, SafeX Cache and SafeX Token and the SafeX Marketplace. Uh, if you're willing to learn more, uh, the information is there. I'll also leave a, a couple of links. Uh, to exchanges in where you can buy and sell SafeX Cash um, from your mining activities. Of course, if there are any questions, there is also the Contact Us link here, which will give you an email address. There is also the official SafeX uh, Discord page, which you can visit. Um, and there is also the forums safe.exchange, and you can ask any questions regarding SafeX, and SafeX Cash Mining, um, and there is a large community on there that will be willing to help you and ask answer any questions that you may have. Good luck with your mining, and I hope you a profitable event.